What's up guys, Technic here, and today we're gonna to be talking about software since Oppo have finally released their latest software skin, that being ColorOS 13, skinned over Android 13. But before we get into all the features that it has to offer, let's rewind a little bit back to ColorOS 11, which was its biggest change up in terms of software with Android 11. Last year we had Android 12, which was ColorOS's 12 skin, and that was more of an iterative upgrade. They added a couple new features, but kept the same great formula. Now we have ColorOS 13, and while it still sticks to the same great formula without too many big changes it really does add some heavy hitting changes heavy hitting features I guess you could say that really do make a difference so this time around they have taken the already great software and changed the design up a bit with the inclusion of the new aquamorphic transitions and added quite a few new features that we've already seen from other software skins to give Oppo users a taste of some of the best software features around ColorOS 13 is one of the first OEM operating systems built on a stable version of Android 13, and it's all about integrating its software skin with stock Android, which leads to a range of new features for smart multi-device connections to enhance productivity and ensure seamless intelligent experiences for as many as 160 million Oppo users around the world. This is Tech Nick, and without further ado, let's dive into some of the best features that ColorOS 13 has to offer. Shifting that wonderful paperweight aside and bringing in another Oppo device which is currently running Android 12, that being ColorOS 12. You can see that on the right hand side, ColorOS 13 has this aquamorphic transition that just makes it seem a lot more fluid and a lot more seamless. The home screen also looks very different and that is mainly because of the new folders. We do have large folders, which you can shrink to small folders if you'd prefer that. But the whole purpose of large folders is that you don't have to open up the folder to click on the app icon. You can just tap straight into it, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is an awesome thing to see. But the weird thing is that when you try switch pages it picks up on the folder though the good thing is that they've added a lot more spacing at the bottom so that it is easier to transition between pages so the large folders are really cool and it's really awesome to be able to tap on an app icon without having to open up a folder but this is nothing that we haven't already seen before from other smartphone brands and their software skins but the cool thing here is that Oppo have put so much time energy and resources into their research and development team that they have actually pinpointed consumers and seeing what their preferences are when it comes to software. So I'm assuming that there are quite a few people around there that really do like the new large folder approach and I am one of them. So it's good to see that they included it here. Now the software in general looks pretty similar. If you take the large folders aside, we have Google Discover on the left hand side and all that jazz and it, it looks relatively neat. But if you go into the settings of the home layout, we do have something called shelf, which you can pull down from the middle of the screen on the right device, that being ColorOS 13 for cards and the cards within the shelf they are pretty limited but they do the job and they look just as well as we've seen other cards look from on other smartphones software skins so once again the whole shelf and cards thing is nothing that we haven't seen before from other companies do but it's really cool to see Oppo once again putting their resources into things that actually matter and features that people actually use and it's really cool to see how they have taken it and made it into an Oppo kind of style with the pulling down from the middle of the home screen and getting to the cards and being able to customize it though it is a little bit limited it's really cool to see what they've done with it and I'm super excited to see where they go with it in the future. Next up Oppo have done away with their old school notes notification shade in favor of the new control center where you can switch up your music on Spotify as well as obviously edit your tiles. You can also check your active apps as well as change the users, which is pretty neat. And though this is something that is new for Oppo, it's hard for me to keep saying that it's not something new to the smartphone world, but once again, they've made it their own. They've really nurtured it. And you can see the time and energy that they've put into the placement of the new control center and how they've integrated it with the seamless aquamorphic design that ColorOS 13 has to offer. Now, another big change over here, well, not too big, but something interesting to note is that they have categorized within the main settings menu over here. They've spaced things out to make it a lot easier for you to see and to tap on things. They've changed up their icons icons and now we have a wallpapers and style option instead of the old personalization label that we saw before it does very similar things that we do have a new font which really does make text pop and make it easier to read with some spacing that definitely helps and we do have new aquamorphic icons which look very similar though they kind of 
pop out a little bit. This only really works out for system app icons. They kind of give it like a bit of a 3D look and I really do like the new look of the default app icons on ColorOS 13. So ColorOS 12 aside, focusing just on ColorOS 13, we do have a new wallpaper for ColorOS 13, which really does suit the color scheme that we have on ColorOS 13, that being the aquamorphic scheme, just to show how seamless it is. We also have a new blossom wallpaper, which actually changes based on your usage and it grows over time based on that usage. And another cool thing is within the past hour, whichever app that you use the most, that will actually change color. The Blossom wallpaper will change its color to suit the color theme of the app that you've used within the past hour, which is just so darn smart. There are still quite a few other live wallpapers and still wallpapers that you can choose from, which is awesome. And getting to the always on display, we now have Spotify visible on the always on display. And once again, this is nothing new to the smartphone world of software, but it is new to Oppo and it's really cool to see their partnership with Spotify on this. Having it on your always on display means that it's gonna be so much easier to switch between different albums and switch between different tracks and pause your music, so on and so forth. So it's really good to see the inclusion of Spotify on the always on display here. The always on display can also now support delivery information showing on the always on display from certain supported apps that is. And now we have something called Insight, which once again, we've seen before on an always on display. And it does a great job in terms of seeing how often you unlock your phone and how much you use your phone. So it's cool to just have a glance to see how much you've used your phone on your always on display, much like we saw from the Blossom wallpaper. And continuing with the new customizable always on display, we also have something new called Homeland. And it kind of shows there's three different options. It shows what animals' behaviors like and their living situations would be like if there is heavy climate change, that being global warming. And this happens on a daily basis. So you can see what's happening with our planet Earth on the daily, which is a pretty cool thing to have. I'm not sure how often I would use it as my always on display, but for anyone out there that is seriously concerned with the environment, it's actually like a neat little cherry on top for ColorOS 13. Of course, we still have Omoji, which we can use on the always on display, but this time around we have loads, and I mean loads more customization options and personalizations that you could do to your character. It's finally starting to look like me, which is a good thing to say, I guess. And there are loads and loads of different things that you can do with your characters this time around. Not to mention that you can actually use Omoji, take photos of your friends, create Omojis of them and set them as their profile pictures within your phone, which is awesome. Not to mention, we can also use it as an always on display option, though there's still only three options for it in terms of expressions of your face. It still looks pretty cool and it gives me a smile now and then when I glance down at my always on display. And now we have Bitmoji integrated within the always on display of ColorOS 13, and it is doing a fantastic job in terms of partnering up with Snapchat and it kind of picks up using AI how you are throughout the day. So it works based on time and weather, and it also works based on the activity that you have on your device. So if you're doing more gaming, your Bitmoji is gonna show that you're playing games on your always on display. If you're reading a book more on your phone, it's gonna show that you're reading on your Bitmoji always on display. So it's super cool to see how they've integrated it with the new ColorOS 13. Moving on from the always on display, we now have something called Kids Space, which allows parents to control their kids and how they interact with their smartphones, which includes specific apps, eye comfort, sitting positions, viewing distant reminders, and ambient light reminders, just so that your kid is staying healthy while they're using your phone. And just like in ColorOS 12, we do have a three finger down screenshot, but this time we have something called Pixelate. You can set it to auto and it automatically pixelates the profile pictures and names of someone that you're chatting to if you wanna take a screenshot. It doesn't get it perfect, but it's getting there and it's still a new build on ColorOS 13. It does a great job too, and you can hide it in the private album, which is cool, something in terms of privacy and security. And if you go into private safe, you'll see all the stored private items that you have in there, that being, audio files, video files, photos that you've taken, so on and so forth, which is really cool to see ColorOS integrate because obviously we've seen private safes on other phones and you can use third-party apps for it, but it's really cool to see it integrated within the software itself. 
Now, speaking of privacy, sometimes you want some privacy within your meetings, that being within Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or Zoom. It allows for simplified notifications. So ColorOS knows when you're in a meeting on said apps, and it will know to only show very minimal notifications at the top of your screen, just so that you can keep focused on the meeting. Not to mention that you can now multitask within the meeting, and you can even pull out your notes and doodle a little bit on your notepad while you're in that meeting. And speaking of multitasking, we can now share our screen or mirror our screen to any Windows PC, as well as have two other apps in addition to your screen mirroring, open on your phone, opened up on your PC, which is really awesome to see. Not to mention we can now drag and drop files from our Windows machine straight onto our Oppo device. And if you do happen to own an Oppo Pad Air, it will also get upgraded to ColorOS 13 for integrated multitasking, which is great. And you can also share your screen from your phone onto your Oppo Pad Air using screen mirroring. And you can also show apps on it. You can open apps within it and you can share stuff within your clipboard as well as share the same Wi-Fi network. So that pretty much wraps up all the features of the new Color OS 13. And I must say they have kept things relatively similar to last year, but I'm honestly okay with that because Color OS 13 is one of my favorite Android software skins ever, especially since Color OS 11 came out with all those big changes changed up a little bit with ColorOS 12. ColorOS 13 didn't change too much in terms of the overall structure, but it added in some much needed features, features that we have all felt have been missing from ColorOS. And they finally here now, I really like how you can pixelize things within screenshots, how all the always on display options have really come to life. Not to mention that always on displays can now, I think I forgot to mention it, sit at one Hertz on LTPO 2.0 Oppo devices, which is great for battery life too. So they've really thought of everything, especially with the large folders and the new control center, as well as the new shelf option. There is just so much to like about Color OS 13 and it's much needed upgrade over Color OS 12. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did, honestly, testing out all the features of the brand new Color OS 13. This is Technic and I'll catch you in the next one.